Hello guys, welcome back to another Conan Exiles build video. Oh, uh, I'm excited for this one actually because we are going to be revisiting the Argosian build kit, the new one that came out recently. And I'm in an island right now, if you want to look, if I can show you around here. And this one's pretty far out, so if you're doing this in vanilla, I mean... Uh, I don't recommend building here. This is just more so for looks and you could build it elsewhere where there's a body of water because we're going to be building a lighthouse and um, kind of an inspiration to something similar to the great lighthouse, which I could probably build something like that. If you're not, uh, if you're not familiar with a great lighthouse, it's like an ancient huge lighthouse that used to exist and uh it was destroyed by an earthquake, unfortunately, much like how the, uh, what was it? Not the Oracle, the uh, Colossus statue that also was, uh, it was another feat of engineering a long time ago, but uh, that also got destroyed by an earthquake from what I've read. But you guys can look up pictures of it. It looks amazing, but we're going to do more of a rounded type of lighthouse. And unfortunately, we can't do one where it slowly build like goes inward like it gets smaller at the top because it's you know blocks so that'd be similar to something like minecraft unless we build it at a huge scale but we're not going to be doing that so we're going to be building a large circle first and uh just yeah just to let you know i'm all the way at o 06, pretty much at the edge of the map, <laughs> basically. Edge of the map to the east. So, yeah, this is really far away. So, I'm going to start building the base for this, and I want to make sure. And we're do doing it at this flat spot here because it's just the best place to build here. And we're going to be switching between uh, squares and. Oop. Hold on. Uh, if I'm starting like that, I want to face the... Let's see, I don't think it matters which way I face it. Oh, wait, here we go. I want it to face this way. The point needs to face right here because of the way the blocks are going to go. Yeah, so like that, and then we have the squares here. And this is going to be a large... Sort of a large, semi-large build here. And I might actually go out one more, just to make sure that this is, you know, yeah. And I might go up one as well with the space here. That might actually be the better idea. But we're going to go out like this. All these wedges, just connect them together like so, as well as bring in these edges out by one, too. Don't worry about the boat being in the way, because we're going to be building up twice. So that that's fine. Then bring the squares here, like so. And what we could do right away is, since we have all these... Oops. Since we have all this in place now, or we have this kind of shape, uh, we're going to take our fence foundations, our Gaussian fence foundations, and we're going to go around... Just like so. But this time, I actually want to do something different. I want the outer facing wall to face away from me. So let's do that. So we're going to have the flat part face away from me. So like this. And it might be hard to tell exactly where, how that's facing, but this is how it's going to go. Like so. All the way around until we obviously reach the end of it. And then we're going to do the same thing except bring it up one more. And that's where we'll build the ceilings over the uh, over the middle parts. Get rid of the foundations and just replace it with ceilings. And also, uh, uh, what is it? Pillars <laughs> for support. So... 
All right, so I'm going to do this, but uh, once I actually complete this, I will be right back. All right, so what I've done is, and I also forgot to go in first person. I apologize for that. <laughs> so what I did was I hollowed out the entire place here, and but we have the outline. And we're just going to go back in with our wedges and also our... Uh, squares and don't uh, remember where you had your wedges and remember where you had your squares because it could be a little bit messy if you don't it, it'll be a little awkward I think and it, it probably won't let you anyway because if I like you saw I put a triangle there it wasn't gonna work the wedge was not gonna work there and we are gonna put we are gonna put supports underneath these as well So yeah, like this too, we want to ensure that each piece is in their correct spot. So I'm going to take a pillar here on this wedge and go all the way around with it. And then I'll go back around again on the squares. And then we'll also put supports on the inside too. So, squares here, just like so, and then pillars where these squares are. And if it cooperates, it actually will, you know, connect one after the other instead of having to cancel and then reapply it. So, just like that. Alright, so I'm going to bring out the squares again, but I'm actually not going to put pillars here, but I'm going to put them more towards the middle. So I'm going to take pillars here, here, and just go all the way around until each of the middle parts have pillars underneath them. Also, sorry if I sniffle. I woke up and my nose was, like, stuffy. <laughs> I don't know if it's, like, allergies or what, and I might also sound stuffy as I'm talking, so I apologize for that as well. There we go. And then just go over with the pieces again. So we have something that looks like this. Looks good, I think. Looks good. So it looks like a pattern here. So you could see where the triangles are. So they actually form triangles and then a rectangle. So, and then a, uh... Was that an, uh, a hexagon? Yeah, a hexagon here in the middle. So, all right. Now let's move on to the actual walls and the doorways. And this part here, I'm going to leave out from here. So this part around here is going to be kind of a lookout from the base. While the middle part is going to not be the whole tower. Because I have another idea for this. So, um... Bear with me. <laughs> so uh, we need to put windows in too. So for these regular square sides, I'm going to put a wall on each side. Just like so. And then for the triangle bits, we're going to put these... Uh, you could do the Argosian frames, or if you want to, you could do the Argosian observatory frame. Which, it really depends on... What kind of style you want to go for the most. Um, I'm just going to go with the regular frames. The regular Argosian frames for this part here. Because it just matches more with the walls than the observatory ones. Because this whole place is not going to be built with the observatory. And I wish they had a regular observatory wall. The regular observatory wall would be nice. Because it, ma it would match more with the, uh, the shade of white that these walls have. And uh, you're probably wondering, well, where's the door? That's a good that's a good question. So, uh, where this square is, because I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what it's going to look like with all these walls in. We're going to get rid of this square right here, because this could be considered the front of the building. 
and we're going to put an observatory frame here. All right, sorry about that. All right, so, so we put the door frame here, and now what we're going to do is I want to put these beautiful, well, I'm going to say for the bottom part here, I'm going to put the regular Argosian fences. Yeah. So I'd say for the bottom half, or, yeah, I'd say for the most part, the bottom half is just going to be regular Argosian building pieces. So we have sort of something like this. And we'll go back around later and we'll put the stairs in for how we're going to be able to get up here. So, and I have kind of a good idea for that. So the next part is we're going to bring this up by another level here. So make sure that it goes up by two. Just give it more height. But then I also want to bring it up even one more. So, something like this, where it's three high, because for this entire build, we want it to be really tall and pretty large. So, something like this. And now, what we could do is we're going to go around and we're going to put a roof layer, at least on this level. Or no, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> We're not actually not going to do a roof level. Scratch that. Scratch that. And this this build I actually didn't practice at all. So uh, we're just going to... I'm just going to wing it. Uh, this is kind of the vision I had in my head. So um, we're going to use... Actually, for this part, not use the regular floor pieces or the ceilings. We're actually going to use the mosaic ones for each piece here. So... Follow the same pattern as it was as we built the bottom floor. So where these, I guess you could say, vertices are, you put the squares in and then fill in the rest with the wedges. So something like this. Perfect. Just like that. Oops. There we go beautiful. And now this layer here is actually going to be another lookout, but instead of using the regular fences here, uh, we're going to use the observatory fences. These observatory fences here. And then the layer underneath here, underneath these ceilings, um, we can use the vaulted ceilings if you want to, which I don't know if they would work as well. Because do they even have one for a wedge? I don't think they do. I could be wrong. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Beautiful setting for the rain. They do not have a corner one. So... Instead, what you could use is the Argosian roofs and the sloped ones and also the wedged ones. Both the regular ones and the inverted wedge roof pieces. This gives it more d design and <laughs> I wouldn't say more flavor, I guess, on the inside. When you're looking on the inside, obviously. So you have something that looks like this. And then go back in with the rest here. There's like so many sides here. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the ones that I missed and all the ones I actually filled in with these pieces. So you have something like this, which looks really good. So it pretends as if it's already just two floors, but you have that secret third, third layer of walls, which you see on the inside, but not the outside. It looks like you have this nice little trim around the side, too, because the roof likes to peek through it for some reason. All right. So then the next part here is going to be the actual tower part for the lighthouse. So we have these layers here, and then we're just going to build up and up and up. 
all the way up. And I kind of have an idea for how I want to do this because I want a window that goes, well not a window, but windows that go in a circular pattern. So we're going to start from the bottom here and we're going to go pretty much to the right every time. So we put a window there and this time I'm going to use the observatory frames for this part. And then the rest of these are just going to be walls and we also need to put a door in too, which the door will be in the back. It'll be opposite facing this one and we'll use the, that is not the right door, we'll use the mosaic one like that and then we'll just continue around here. And I had an idea where I could do two sets of windows. So technically where the door is, it could act as the window, the starting window. And then they just go around, like this starts on this side and then this starts on that side, like pretty much opposite each other. I wanna see how that looks in the end. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll give you guys a sense of what exactly I'm doing. So it's like stairs. So it just goes up and around until it probably meets again in the place where it started, or at least close to it. Because I don't want this to be too tall, but I don't want it to be stubby either. Because it's it's a lighthouse, so it wants, you, you need to be really, really tall. So we have something like this, so it just keeps gradually getting higher. Or at least it meets halfway through, and that is where it'll end there, with probably one more layer of ceiling or, or one more layer of wall or just keep it as this is the final floor. Or not the final floor, but the floor be uh, before the actual looking out part or where the light goes at the top. So yeah, but at least high enough to where, you know, it looks as if there's, you can see the light. <laughs> Which, I think this is tall enough, but I could go one more. I could go one more. But yeah, the same thing will happen here, too. Which, I'm probably not just gonna- I'm not gonna cut this out. I mean, it, it's pretty quick in doing this, and I've already cut enough of this video already, I think. So... You just essentially build each one up, like, stairs. And once this bit has been completed. So like I went up one here, all the rest of this is just going to be walls. So it just covers the rest of it. Pretty much diagonal from each other. That's another way to describe it. And then the last one right there. So yeah, we got something like this. I think that looks pretty good. At least it's I mean, it's not like Tiny Glade, where Tiny Glade makes it look way better, but this is the equivalent to it, I guess. <laughs> this is the equivalent to it. I'm going to say that that is, that's going to be tall enough, I I think. Yeah. I'd say that'd be tall enough. So we're going to go back in with another layer of feelings. So we have the wedge ones. And again, we want to make sure that we keep the same pattern, so this is where the squares go, which, I mean, really? We don't... I mean, yeah, we'd still need to go the same pattern because the way that this is shaped. But it, it, with this shape, technically, it doesn't really matter where you're starting because of how rounded it is now. It's way more rounded, so it doesn't really matter, but I just want to keep the consistent pattern with this. So then we're going to go one layer like this, and then go back in with our observatory fences, like so, all the way around, just like that. And then the actual looking out bit is going to be the observatory windows, which that's technically where the light is going to be. Now. The inside is just for looks. There's probably, I mean, you could probably make a way to get up here via an elevator. Or if you do the stairs, you could do it that way too, which I might attempt to do. 
I think I'll attempt to do that, but uh, I'll see how successful I can be with it, and then I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. So I'm thinking how high I want this to be, because three... I don't know, three might be too tall, but then at the same time I'm like, well, maybe not. Maybe not. And I'm also thinking, do I want it to be a rounded roof at the top? Like this? Or do I want it to be more of like a triangle? So use these instead to have more of a peak at the top. I might actually go with the rounded ones, but I don't think that... I think that top part there is too tall, in my opinion. A little too tall. So I'm going to bring this back around here, and we're just going to make it two, two layers high. Make sure that these are facing the outside, because if they aren't, it might look a little weird. And then the rounded rounded roof here. Just like that. And then if you want to, uh, which I could actually sneak in through here because it's a window, uh, put in the... put in the ceilings there because that's where the light's going to be. And a beautiful light that we could actually put here could be the large, a large brazier. Um, can I actually put the- oh, I can. Yes, please. Yep. That's much brighter and much more effective. Yep, so we have something like that at the top. Yeah, that looks- that looks really good. I mean, it looks good for what a, uh, a lighthouse can look like, or at least this type of lighthouse. I could probably build a more square one in another build that we could do. But uh, let's go ahead and try to do the stairs on the inside. So it's much easier to do it from this layer because I could actually do a more natural spiral staircase. But with the observatory pack, there actually is spiral stairs that we could do with railing. It just might be a little awkward trying to build this up here. Because we need to do it from the... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, can I do... Oh, I could do that? No way. Oh my goodness. No way. I didn't know I could do that. That is amazing. What... Oh, that's... Wow. And then this top part here can be... Um... Oh, I could... That is so much... That That is amazing. Like, really. That is amazing that I could do that. I, I am in love with this even more than what I was before. That, I cannot believe that. Sorry, I'm just getting, <clears throat> getting a little flabbergasted here. Oh. Oh, why am I not using the mosaic? What am I doing? We're using mosaic for this. Come on, Savvy. Get your head in the game. Yeah, use mosaic for this part. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. And then, obviously, once this reaches here, we could have um, the stairs. So I don't know where to start this exactly. Probably, like, back here. And then just one set of stairs. Uh, let's see, these. Yep, just like this, and you go up. And then you can see above here over the ocean from the jungle. Um, um, I should put in walls here, though. I think walls would look much better in this. Just that way you don't, you know, accidentally fall off. Uh, 
and then put this like so. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I would love... Could I put... No, I can't. <laughs> it would kind of phase through it. I don't think it wouldn't be possible in the middle like that. But I wish there was kind of a rounded pillar like this that I could just stick here without it being stairs, you know? Just to fill in this little bump here, but that's okay. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. I'm so glad that this is a thing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this right here, I don't know what to do with it. Um, we're gonna do... We're gonna use regular wedges here. But I'm not really sure exactly how to deal with that, you know? I mean, I could probably think of something, but... Yeah, this, this, this. And then I could put... I don't know if I could... Can I climb over there? I can, okay. It just would be... It, it'd just be a lot more awkward to do that, but um, this would also mean that I could put... All right, I'm going to put a... <laughs> put this here. It just, that just looks so weird, but it's it works. It's fine. And this could mean that I could put an entire layer of walls here that pretty much cover this staircase. So that way it's just not out in the open like that. Plus it'd be... It's less dangerous too, because if you're climbing up this staircase uh, without... I mean, even though it has railings, you could probably still climb over as you saw what I did on this on this floor down here um, <laughs> you could easily fall off so I, I'd rather make sure that there's more of a safety measure in place and we need to put more we need to put some lights in here too so on the outside here uh, I know the lights that I could use because I used them before yeah these because these could sit up sit atop here and these aren't going to be perfect, perfectly lined up, but at least for the top here, this is what we're going to use. These don't really give off much light, but these do the job, at least decoration-wise with what I wanted to do. You can see the pattern here, the way that it kind of meets up, where you can see sort of the middle here. And obviously it's not going to be perfect, because it doesn't snap like that, but yeah. I think that's dull enough light, or just enough light for here. And obviously I'm going to put more lights up here too, just to go around here. And these were, I believe you, you got these from uh, one of the season passes that they had in the past. And I can't remember which uh, which chapter it was and which age. I believe it was the Age of War? One of the first chapters, I believe. It was a long time ago. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but the bottom part here is going to be a little more brighter. So I'm going to use uh, the... Actually, instead of just putting stuff on the walls, at least not lights, I'm going to use these little brazier oops these little braziers here yeah these ones and just place them on the in the middle circle of these square ceilings you might be able to walk around them I'm sure probably there we go something like that so not like complete dark but pretty Pretty to oh wait maybe not there but there I could actually put maybe a uh, a wall light here yeah like that just give it give it a little bit more light yeah something like that all right 
Now, the last couple things is obviously putting this layer in, too. And we need to get our doorway in like this. And then just build this up to the ceiling here. So that way there's... This actually gives it more support as well underneath because it's not freestanding. And there's actually support from these walls that it could give. So we have the pillars underneath and the fence foundations and then the more middle you get you have this kind of large uh, built-in pillar made by a bunch of walls that are the support as well. There we go. There is something like this. Looks really good. So you come through here and then you just walk all the way up. Uh, we'll do a complete tour once I actually finish the outside here, too. Um, okay. So the outside... I want to build a... way up to the top here. So I'm gonna bring this out a little bit. And I want some stairs here, too. I don't want to do the spiral stairs. I want to just do regular Argosian stairs. And these are going to go off to the side here. But these are going to take a turn from there and to there. Just like that. Then obviously go around with these pieces here and... Oh. I might have to put... Yeah. Put some pillars here so that way there's support underneath so I can actually start putting the fence foundations in place if it'll let me or I may have to use regular walls yeah which that is totally fine with me whatever works whatever works okay so then we need to take our left sloping walls and our right sloping walls and connect these up together. And we want to do this the same here on this side and on this here. That is not where I wanted it. There we go. And then come back in with a layer of wall on that side. So you have something like this. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Uh, so these here, I'm just going to get rid of. And these are just going to be part of the, uh, yeah, part of what I'm doing here. So <laughs> just makes it, makes it better overall. And we need these sloping walls for the back here. I don't know if it'll let me do it. Probably not. Yeah, it probably won't because this is in the way, potentially. Either that's in the way or the actual... This fence foundation? So that, yeah, that's why. So I gotta have either one or the other, which is kind of unfortunate, so. So yeah, I gotta just deal with what is, <laughs> what the cards deal to me. I just have to <laughs> deal with it, you yeah. know. Alright, so then I'll just put these back here, like so. These here can be kind of freestanding, I guess, in the back. You're not going to really see it from behind. And I'll just put in the layer of Argosian fences here. On here, on this side and this side. Yeah, just like that. And then same thing here. And actually, this gives me the chance to use this little... Actually, I'll use a bigger one. I'll use this one, this beauty right here. Yeah. Even though that's not Argosian, it is uh, Aquilonian, but it still works the same. So, all right. I want to put some banners around. So we need some wall decorations. So let's go to wall decor. And I'm not going to use these. I want to use, I think there's also other, well, statues as well. But I don't think statues would, you know, work here in this case. But yeah. Uh... <laughs> decals on the wall. 
There's like other things too I could put on the wall. Those like actual banners that I could put up. Yeah, here they are. Banners. Argosian flag. Oh, that that's a freestanding flag. Um Argosian tapestry. So yeah, ooh, that looks good, yeah. All the way around we could do this. Yep. Make sure that these are on the same level as possible and centered as possible as I can get it. And there we go. Just like that. Uh, this one I'm gonna redo. There we go. Yeah, that looks really good. Alright. And I believe there's like these small banners too, which they don't have, they're not as bold. Alright, so those look good. And actually, you know what? The wall decor. We'll use one of these. Uh, let's use bird. Bird insignia. I might just put these. I'm gonna put these like right above here on each side. Just like so. Or how many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Because I was thinking just each side could have an, an insignia, but I think we'll just go with the bird. Yeah, that's fine. That works. All right. Well, let's give this place a little bit of a tour. So you come across this island here, and then you come across this really tall observatory-looking building. And then you climb up the stairs. And you can give yourself a little... Oh, you can't walk around this. Okay, well, <laughs> pretend that you can. <laughs> it's just for decoration. And then you come around the back and you see the vast ocean beyond from the jungle. And then you just make your way back around the other side. And then you can head on inside, which I should probably put in a door. The door would probably be good. Just saying. That would probably make more sense. Yeah. Like that. That's nice. They have a door here. You walk in, and then you have this open space here. Semi or open space with a small little pillar in the middle, or a larger pillar than the small pillars, but a large pillar in the middle, which actually you can go inside and you come across the spiral staircase, which I've been wanting spiral staircases for so long in this game. And then you come across this floor here, which leads out into the second lookout here with all these beautiful, beautiful Zamorian ground lanterns. And you can also see the ocean from here too, just from a higher vantage point. And then you just make your way around here with all the beautiful lights. Not much to see on this island. I mean, if you built this somewhere else as, like, just a tower, this would work really well, too. Um, and then you go back inside, and you keep climbing up and up and up the spiral staircase until you finally reach this floor here, which is right before the roof. So this could be... I mean, it's very tiny, so, like, you could put a small bed in here, I guess, <laughs> if you wanted to. Like, kind of a bedroom up here. And then up here, this is where the light is in the lighthouse, where these windows are. And you get to see from the highest point of the lighthouse out into the ocean and to the fog beyond. And then also anything else that you could find, like the that temple over there and other things that you could probably look out for. But yeah, I think this build turned out really, really well. Um, you guys can let me know what you thought of this in the comments down below, or give me suggestions for any builds that you think I should do in this game. Just let me know. 
and uh, I can try my best to do them. But uh, I think I want to revisit this and do, instead of this rounded version of a lighthouse, we could do a square version of it. And I think that that would look good too. So I'll probably come up with some ideas and that'll probably be the next video or uh, sometime in the near future. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to hit subscribe as well because that lets me know that you guys enjoy the content on the channel and would like to see more. I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Barry Medley for being a member of the channel. And you can become a member too by hitting the join button down below. I've been Zappy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. See you later.